Welcome printmakers! So today we're gonna work on printing the screen. Materials and tools for this are gonna be the Speedball screen printing kit, watercolor, transparent base, eight and a half by 11 drawing, uh, and blue tape. So as you can see, you have a clean flat surface that we're working on. Um, and you're going to sandwich that screen in between the two clamps. And if you need assistance pulling it, another individual holding that screen firmly to the image will do just fine. Um, using a scrap piece of wood or a roll of tape to prop the screen so that it is not in contact with the table or board. That's your next piece. You can see it's propped up right here um, as we go through this video. So as you can see, Sam's got the screen propped up. He's poured his transparent base into the top of the screen. You wanna be generous with this, just like if you were with us on our screen printing unit, um, you want more than enough transparent base to re-wet that watercolor. So as you can see, Sam, he's pulling the transparent base up and down the screen until the entire image has been reactivated and coated. And just like that, he's gonna add a little more transparent base to the top because he didn't have enough. All right, so you're pulling the trans transparent base down the screen multiple times so the entire surface of the paint and image is covered, like Brett said. The transparent, transparent base will reactivate the watercolor, again, as Brett said, allowing the image to be transferred to the page um, and add more transparent base if necessary. Um, as you can see, you re we remove the wedge from the side and we place that screen down onto our printing paper, which we've taped down as well. Um, you wanna be generous with the pressure. Um, when you're pulling that squeegee back towards you, it's about a 45 degree angle. And you really, that screen can take a lot more pressure than you think to transfer the lines and details that you have painted on the screen. Um, so remove the paper from beneath the screen. If the paper sticks to the screen, carefully peel off the surface of the screen. Once the paper is removed, place the wedge back under the screen. Um, <clears throat> and remove the screen from the clamps um, and, and, and make sure it was, uh, you, you, you reintroduce transparent base to it thoroughly if you're gonna print more, like print your ghost uh, or go back into it. So as Sam said, if you wanna pull your ghost, you'll add more transparent base on top of that. If not, you'll wanna take it and wash it thoroughly to make sure all that transparent base gets out of those um, different holes, the porous parts of the screen, um, to make sure that you can use, paint your next layer on top of it. When you do print, oftentimes it leaves the image stained into your screen. So, That'll also allow you, if you're gonna print different layers, to have a guide as you go back and paint back on top of that image. Uh, rather and than- You will repeat the painting and the drawing on the screen for each layer. All right, so just to, to keep us going here, remember that you're, as you have all this information laid down onto your uh, onto your screen. It's not something to get freaked out about. Oh, I've stained my screen and you know, what am I going to do now? This is going to show up in the rest of my prints. Rather, that information is something to be celebrated because you can continue to use that image. It's a tool to help you rather than something to hurt you. Um, it's an asset uh, that, that history of that image being stained into your screen. But also know that if you don't want to use that image anymore and your screen is stained, it doesn't mean that it's going to impact future images. If you decide to use this for our screen printing module or for another purpose other than that, all right? Like uh, a, a different image that you want to use this uh, watercolor uh, screen printing um, process for. If you want to make another image right on top of that image, feel free, you can, and that the first image won't impact the second image. It's a great note there, Sam. Okay, just wanna make sure we include that piece. All right, guys, thanks again for joining us. We really enjoyed having you here, and we hope these are extremely helpful. Take care.